What is up, everybody? This is Keith Jamison with the Jamison team at Lakeview Real Estate. Hope everybody had a fantastic week. This week, I want to talk about trying to buy a house in this crazy market. So, you know, like a lot of y'all know, probably if you're watching a real estate video or receiving our updates, you know, you're probably in the market or at least have some interest in the housing market. And you know, it's crazy. Um, you know, data over and over again is just showing how things are on the rise. Supply is way down, demand is way high. So, you know, homes that come on the market are not only going for asking price, but often above asking um, and really, really fast. So, you know, the question that I get so often from new buyers is how do I compete in this environment? Like, how can I realistically get a home that I want? You know, I'm in an apartment right now. I desperately want to take advantage of the interest rates and experience home ownership. How can I do it? So I just want to kind of go over that, some ideas that Jillian and I put our heads together and wanted to share with you that could help. So first off, I think what you need to know is, yes, this is a crazy market. There's an average of 3.7 offers per home on the market. And just to give you another just perspective, just so you know, I'm not just telling you the market's crazy, that the data backs it up, but the medium time to contract in Pasco County in January of 2021 was 11 days. Compare that to last year in 2020, which was a phenomenal market too. It was 36. In Hillsboro, that was 12 days and 35. So it's a dramatic change. Um, so again, let's go to the tips. How the heck can you get a home? First off, have a pre-approval letter ready to go before you even go out to the homes that you're about to fall in love with. Timing really is everything and having to wait on your lender to get you pre-approved and waiting on that letter versus getting that offer submitted could make the difference of the home already going under contract and you losing out. Additionally, some lenders will, will happily pre-underwrite you where we can go and actually say that all the underwriting is done on your income files and everything and you are ready to go. That can make your offer stand out. If you're a cash buyer, have your bank representative get your um, proof of funds letter early so then right when it's time to submit that offer, we can submit, you don't have to you know, try to find a way to screenshot it or, or waiting in line to get it. Secondly, be ready for competition. Again, that number was 3.7 offers per home on average. Um, so a new home that's marketed well, professional photos, video is really done beautifully, but whether it was staged or whether you could just take, tell the owner took their time to get everything clean and, and look organized, that home is likely going to fly. And it's probably not only going to be at asking price, but it could be over asking. The data from that same file that we talked about in Pasco and Hillsborough County in January, homes went at 100% average asking price for the median. That number is likely to go up when we get the new data. So you just need to be ready that you know, some people are calling them bidding wars. Some people just call it like, I have to at least at, go asking. However you want to term it, just be ready for competition. Third, if you are kind of not, it, trying to think of the right way to say it, talk with your agent about ways that you could strengthen the offer, even if you're capped out. Okay. So if you've reached the point where the price is, you know, it's as high as you can go and that you don't feel comfortable going anymore, that's completely okay. We can still try to strengthen your offer. Some ways you could do that is increasing the escrow deposit. You could shorten um, inspection windows and on maybe a newer home, potentially eliminate it. There's some risk, but that's sometimes people are willing to do. You could ask, have your realtor, like I always ask when I'm negotiating, when does your seller, Mr. or Mrs. Agent, when does your seller want to close? Let's meet them on their schedule and give them you know, what a, a good closing date for them is. And then you could even consider waiving part, if not all of the appraisal contingency. This is a case-by-case -case basis and should be talked about with your lender and your agent, but that is something that is happening in the market. Um, two more, consider looking at homes that are a little under your price range, baking in the fact that it may go above. You can still find some phenomenal homes, you know, a little bit under where you even wanted to go. And maybe then at that point, it lands to your price and it's still a home that could be fantastic. The final thing is if you are wary of multiple offers, you are wary of where prices are going to go, consider looking at some homes that have a little bit of time on the market that have been 30, 60, 90 days on the market. Oftentimes when you look at them, 
you might spot, you know, something that isn't ideal, or you might see that the pictures aren't great, or it doesn't have a video walkthrough, or there's just little things here and there that, you know, don't make it stand out compared to these homes that are flying. That still could be a phenomenal house that you could do a little bit of fixing up or, or move things around, and it could be the home of your dream. So try not to shut the door on homes that have been sitting in the market. They could still be some fantastic buys, and it's your way to find your own diamond in the rough. Anyhow, I hope that this helps, gives you um, some optimism. Look, it's still a great time to buy. There's still plenty of forecasters that think prices could even go up higher by the end of the year if inventory doesn't go up. So don't get discouraged. Have an open conversation. You know, if we're your real estate team, you know, feel free to call us. We're glad to discuss, you know, ways that we can help um, make your offer stand out. And, you know, happy hunting. Uh, you know, I really do wish the best for everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. So once again, this is Keith Jamison with the Jamison team at Likely Real Estate, and we are opening the door to your next home. Have a great weekend.